Hey everybody, it's Steve here. Welcome back to Wrecking Crew. Uh, we are going to, going to uh, try and get the next 10 levels of this game done. Um, we'll get up to level 30. Uh, this stage is not too difficult. Um, obviously the trick to it is to uh, is to trap uh, the wrench in the green door like I just did there. And from there it's, it's a piece of cake. You can either knock the eggplant man uh, down below or just uh, take up the ladders like that. No big deal. Um, you'll notice that um, uh, my score is a little different than last time. Um, there's not really going to be any continuity um, uh, to this playthrough. Uh, simply because I, I, there's no way that I can get through all 100 stages um, on five lives. That's just not going to happen. I can get up to around mm, stage 45 or so um, uh, before I lose all my lives. Um, also the fact that I just can't get enough of this game and I keep playing it in between recordings. I keep playing it. And um, the one good thing about the game, I don't know if I mentioned this, is that um, from the title screen you can select any of the 100 levels. You can start on any level you want. Um, <clears throat> my voice sounds real weird tonight. I, I apologize. Um, you can start on any, any level you want from the title screen. Um, so that kind of makes it um, a little bit easier as far as uh, as making these videos. I can just uh, you know play at my own leisure and, and come back to it at another time. And uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I like continuity. I would like to. Uh, keep things consistent, but, um, uh, it's just, uh, my obsession with this game, uh, these days is, uh, <laughs> just not going to make for, uh, good continuity. Um, this stage is another one of those tedious ones where you got to keep going all the way up to the top of the, the level and back down again, breaking the ladders along the way. Uh, the most important thing, obviously, is make sure that Spike doesn't break that, that little, uh, white ladder down at the bottom right. Other than that, it's no big deal. It's been like crazy windy here the past couple days, um, like 50 mile an hour winds and whatnot. Um, so I don't know. It's been kind of loud around here with the wind, so I don't know if any of that's going to come up on uh, my microphone. My microphone seems to pick up uh, the weirdest things sometimes. My voice never comes out the way I want it to, or the uh, the loudness that I want it to. But everything else seems to seems to pick up on it. It seems to pick everything else up. This stage um, can be a little tricky. Um, I don't know why it keeps giving me trouble. Basically, you're just gonna um, keep using the wraparounds, uh, trick, keep the wrenches together. Um, don't let Spike knock you down into the wrenches. That wouldn't be good. And, uh, I'm about to get an extra life without even trying. I'll definitely get an extra life without even trying. You know, like I said, with the exception of level one, I don't recall the, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, I don't recall the, the order of the letters in, in pretty much any of these stages, so, uh, that was pure luck right there. Alright, I guess I should be able to get through this pretty, yeah, alright. Yeah, that level gave me trouble uh, when I've been uh, practicing on that. But uh, pretty simple this time. Here's another tedious level. Um, y again, you've got to go up and down this board numerous times. Just uh, take it easy. Let the wrenches follow you. Kind of make sure... The, the most important thing, is, as always, is to keep the multiple wrenches bunched up together. Keep them together as much as you possibly can. And one way of doing that is uh, when you get down to where I am right now, on any of these uh, platforms that have the ladders on them, just wait. The wrenches are all going to eventually go back left to the, to the tall ladder. They'll get bunched up that way. Um, obviously, make sure Spike does not break this ladder right here, this big long ladder on the left, because you're screwed if he does. So what else has been going on? Um, yeah, we kind of got teased with some nice weather. We had a couple 50 degree days and now we're plunged right back into the teens and whatnot with some more snow and wind and it's just been crazy weather. It, it, I'm going to end up getting sick. I haven't been sick yet this season and I always do. I always get sick, so it's only a matter of time.
yeah, this stage is really, really tedious. But as long as you take it easy, it's not too bad. Uh, other than that, what else is going on in my life? Uh, school's going all right. Midterms already this week. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not that into it anymore. I'm not into school and studying, and I just, I don't seem to care much anymore. I know it's just depression talking. I, I have bouts of it where I just kind of, uh, I don't know, just don't care about anything. just kind of the way it's been my whole life. I just go through these periods where, uh, where I just don't take an interest in much of anything. I'm going to start paying attention to this game because uh, I'm close. Uh, actually, as you can see, um, of the, the my top score there, 314,000, I submitted um, a recording of this game that I played uh, to Twin Galaxies, and I got 285,000. You know, and then I proceed to play it again on my own time, you know, own, own terms, own time, and I end up with that score of 314,000. So I don't know. I, I think I uh, I rushed too quickly to uh, turn in, in a submission to Twin Galaxies because uh, I could have done better. Yeah, it's enough to beat the first place score, but. I don't know, I obviously I could obviously have done better. Uh, the trick to this stage is take out the white letters along the bottom of the screen, not the tall ones but the short ones. Get rid of them because otherwise uh, it's I'm not going to say it's impossible, but you're, then you're going to have to deal with the eggplant men and it's just not worth it. You know, get yourself back up top, take out the top letters drop into the middle section, get rid of all those, and then it uh, becomes a piece of cake. You know, dodging fireballs, of course, as you go. Simple as that. Uh, phase 26. Um, this is all about uh, just getting a, a, a pattern, a rhythm down, a pattern. Um, you're going to have the wrenches chasing you the entire way from the top of, of this level to the bottom. Um, you're actually going to want to wait right until he's about to get you and then go for it. And just uh, keep uh, dropping down, getting all the doors along the way. If you miss any of the doors, you're screwed. Not necessarily. I think one time I was doing this level, I missed, uh, I think Spike knocked me down. And I was still able to somehow get back up and finish the level. But um, I think that was just a fluke, really. You kind of got really got to do this on your first time through. You just got to get a, a rhythm going because you've got to make sure Spike doesn't knock you around. and Yeah, like that. Uh, level 27 is... Uh, I don't particularly care for it. Um, it's giving me trouble. Um, I don't really know why. Uh, I know obviously the goal is to at least trap one, if not both, of the the wrenches uh, in these doors, but the way that they're positioned is such that as soon as they enter the door, they just turn right back around and come back out again. So I know that that's what the game wants you to do, but I think it's going to be best if I just, well, maybe I can try it now. Yeah, then open up the second door, he'll go back in. There we go. Actually trap both of them. Mm. I was thinking about going back down to get the doors, but we'll, we'll wait. We'll get them. There we go. Yeah, not a hard level at all, but it gives me all kinds of trouble. This, on the other hand, is probably the worst, the worst stage as far as I'm concerned, um, within the first half of the game even. It's such a pain in the ass. You just gotta keep using the wraparounds and 
the two different colored wrenches on the screen at the same time, and they're, so they're moving at different speeds. It, it's, it's just a nightmare. I really don't like this level at all. But uh, again, if you just take your time and keep bunching up the wrenches the, as best you can, you know, with, since uh, purple and red are both present, it's kind of hard to do that. Yeah, this stage I've I've had many uh many run through where I've uh, I haven't lost a single life, and I get to this stage right here, and that's where it all starts going downhill. You know, I'm sure that there's an easier way to do this, but I I'm just not seeing it. I always uh try to work uh, from left to right with the doors, that way you can get back to the wraparound before the wrenches come back up. Yeah, this is just ridiculous. Yeah, it's like, it's like it's not, you almost have to lead them all the way back up to the top, the top level, just so you have enough time. Uh, to get the the, uh, the doors on the bottom, but oh jeez. Well, bye Mario. Yeah. Um, if I like fail like repeatedly on the stage, I'm gonna have to edit it out because um, that that just becomes boring after a while watching me uh, you know, take so many minutes on this level just to fail. You know, I mean it. It's got some comedy value, I guess, but I guess a little goes a long way, and I'm not going to make you uh, watch me fail too many times. Yeah, it's just a time-consuming level. I, like I said, I think my problem is that I'm very impatient. You know, not just with this game, with other games, I, I always feel the need to hurry, and uh, it usually leads to my downfall. One more try, and if I and it, if I fail again, then then I'm just gonna I'll cut it. I'll cut out the failures. Yeah, this stage. I, I'm gonna say out of the first 50 levels of, the, of levels of the game, this stage is just the worst. I mean, it's 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 challenging. I mean, I'll give them that. And it is one thing that's great about this game is that it really is a challenge. I mean, as you progress through these hundred levels, you will see some challenges, and uh, there's some levels that really require some thought and um, a lot of uh, planning. It's just very well designed. Um, it's not just thrown together, you know. Well, some of the some of the levels are, you know, maybe. But um, I, I just I view pretty much every level of this game as just being a uh, a work of art, really. Not to be too, uh, not to be too dramatic about it, but you just can't deny that uh, these levels are, are very well thought out and uh, very well designed. All right, enough of this. Perfect time for a fireball. Crap, 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 crap. That was close. <clears throat> I don't know, man. Just keep chipping away at him, I guess. I want to get far enough off the screen to dodge the fireball, but... I don't want to go too far off the screen that I appear on the other side and have the wrenches uh, catch a glimpse of me.
All right, we're, we're going for it. If I can at least get some off of the right-hand side, I could take care of the rest on uh, the other way back around like this. Oh, that might prove to be a horrible mistake. Okay. Still in it. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to lure all of them back up to the top of the screen, though. Or not. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Just got to take up the ladder. Hmm. Alright, going for it. Thank God. And now we're rewarded with a bonus stage. And bonus stage makes everything all better. Assuming Spike doesn't win, of course. Which he does. You know, I, th I think the game's finally starting to turn on me. <laughs> I think this is the turning point of the game where it says, uh, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Uh, level 29, again, not too bad. The biggest uh, trick is to make sure that the, the two uh, wrenches don't get split up. You don't want one on either, you know, of those two uh, ladders on the sides coming at you from opposite directions. You don't want that. <coughs> but again, it's another one of these levels where you got to keep going up and down, up and down. keep those wrenches oh no 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 they're splitting up see this is what I was talking about hmm can still do this yeah there we go I mean they're still split up but and I am gonna have to get back up top again one more time yeah well, we'll just do it again. Thank God for the wraparound. Hopefully they'll bunch back up together again so I can take care of the ladders. Yeah, my voice sounds terrible tonight. Of course it always sounds terrible, but... Oh no. There we go. Whew. <laughs> Didn't mean to panic there, sorry. Um, phase 30 is where we're gonna um, so we're gonna get through this level and stop. Um, this one's not too bad at all. You got uh, two wrenches, but you can trap them in the barrels, and you can even trap Spike if you're uh, if you're quick enough. Ah, uh, just like that. And take care of the other wrench, and then um, we're enemy free. Start at the top and work your way down. I'm gonna wait for a fi the fireball right now. There we go. All right, so it's as simple as that. We are, uh, gosh, like uh, almost a third of the way through the game. Um, it's gonna start getting more difficult though. I'm thinking about the next. Uh, yeah, it's going to get more difficult, but everyone have a good day. Take it easy. Peace, and I'll see you next time for more Wrecking Crew.